Chine ke menye wwa oeze bube Na cheta kwa no gai kara ke wwa Chine ke menye wwa oeze bube Eza cheta kwa no gai kara ke wwa Welcome Thank you for always coming back Thank you so much Reference God Almighty, the creator that was not created, he who gives children, regardless of whatever you do, it is still God that gives children. Yes. This time of waiting is very, it's a very strong time. <laughs> it's a time that's if one is not careful you may end up going to places you don't want to go but meanwhile i wanted them visiting a lady today i wanted to visit her interview her a little what does she do she is a woman who has stopped her business like basically faced the things of god and the aspect of conception no i am not marketing her because not like i want to give anyone her number but i'm just trying to bring out a point i was going to visit her today interview her now you marvel at how she does hers she used to own a very big business until god asked her to leave that business and go into ministry and go into ministry i have met her once and the bible said we should test the spirit right and i can ascertain to you that by the grace of god she works with the grace of god but what marvels me is she does has with prayers and herbs prayers and herbs she would not attend to you if you only want herbs. She does it with the leading of God. And to the glory of God, to the glory of God, some women have carried their babies. Now, why am I telling you this? Prayer and herbs. Um, faith without work is useless. Even though as Christians, you need to check medically, yes. Then spiritually, yes. Then follow it up with prayer. God is the giver of children. I know some persons feel overwhelmed already. They feel tired. But today, I want to share with us today some prayers some psalms some psalms some prayers you can make while you are waiting on god and by the grace of god he will give us answer even elizabeth your relative is going to have a child in her old age and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month for no word from God will ever fail. No word from God will ever fail. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. This Bible verse is reminding us of um, Elizabeth, whom God visited even in her old age. And she was able to conceive and also encouraging us to not despair do not give up on God but he will because he will never give up on us the number one Psalm I want us to read to pray you don't read Psalms you pray Psalms is Psalm 37 4 to 7 Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your hearts. 
I will list down the sums in the comment section in order not to make this video a long one. Psalm 37, 4 to um, 7. The second psalm is Psalm 55, verse 22. Cast your care on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous to be shaken. Please, while you are waiting on God, sometimes we assume that the problem comes from a woman alone. You see a woman running her task scatter um, alone, leaving the husband behind. Go for medical checkup with your husband. It's very, very important so that you don't have to keep waiting for long. You understand? You don't have to keep waiting for long when it is medical. Yes, I serve a God that, um, be it medical, physical, spiritual, he can handle it. But sometimes God will not do our own part of the work for us. We have to do it ourselves. Then Psalm 11, uh, 113 verse 9. He settles the childless woman in her home. God will settle you with children god will settle you with your heart desires in your home as a happy mother of children praise the lord then psalm 130 verse 5 i wait for the lord my whole weight and in his word i put my hope psalm 127 verse 3 children are a heritage from the lord offspring a reward from him may that reward that comes from God, that reward of children, may it not elude us by the grace of God. Now, these are Psalms you should pray with while you wait on God. If something, if it's something you can fast, fine. Now, none shall be buried in the land. This is the promise of God unto us. Sometimes, if there is a sin we need to acknowledge and ask God for forgiveness for, it's important we ask God for forgiveness. If you are a Catholic like myself, the patron saint of children is Saint Philomena. Saint Philomena. That is if you are a Catholic, please. Petition your prayers to God Almighty through Saint Philomena. She's the patron saint of um, children, infants. You understand? Now, go ahead and pray these psalms and watch the hand of God manifest in your life. None shall be barren. You will be called mother of children. Twins. You will carry your children. Not just carry your children, but carry them to time. Bat them, carry them and grow old with your children by the grace of God. Do not despair. Cast your hope and faith in God and watch God perfect all that concerns you, concerns us when it comes to conception. It can only be God. Now, in the aspect of herbs and cleansing, if it is what you believe in, I believe in it. I have another channel where I talk about how to use natural things we find in our home, around us, to cleanse ourselves and open our way. Herbs is God's blessings to mankind. One day, I will bring out verses in the Bible where herbs, cinnamon, rue, and all that are used and mentioned in the Bible so that you will understand that as Christians, the use of herbs is not evil. Herbs are blessings from God to mankind. So, also, you can use it and then return the glory to God Almighty. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's none of that person but glow cheesy. To God alone be the glory.